covered stacks of different hobbies on Totally Wild. Everything from model trains to kite flying. But there is one hobby that I haven't yet covered and that is the pastime of rocket making. So set your clocks, Wilders, because today we will be launching our very own rocket. First up, it's time to meet our rocket fanatic, Ari Perinen. Ooh, Ari. <laughs> they are a little bit bigger than I. My little friend here. It sure is, but that's a cute one. <laughs> it is cute, but seriously, how powerful are these? They're massive. Oh, very, very powerful. Um, it can reach 3.5 kilometres in a matter of a few seconds. Could break a sound barrier on the way too. So it is serious. Oh, same same cool. with this baby here. And what about, you know, these smaller-ish ones? Do they go pretty yeah, far too? This is great. Perfect for medium to high power rocket can reach two and a half kilometres. Again, That's matter of seconds, yes. And uh, this is a medium power rocket, seven, eight hundred metres or kilometre. And that one little one. That's an amazing little thing because that can go in three seconds to half a kilometre. Oh, that's pretty... I'm proud of him. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Now, Ari is a serious rocket enthusiast and has been a part of a rocket club for years, working up to creating massive missiles. This is not a pastime for the inexperienced. How do you make a rocket, Ari? Well, it's made of components, of course, and uh, mainly cardboard. Very light, very strong still, go very high because of it. A nose cone, one of the main parts. Mm -hmm. Then you have the actual body, which is called an airframe. Yep. And then you have three, four fins, and that guides through the air. And of course, the motor mount, which the... is where the business end is. Okay, so I guess depending on rocket size depends on your motor size. Absolutely. And uh, you've got low power, medium power, and high power rockets. And you can imagine that's high power. Yep. <laughs> and that's about medium there. And this is low power. Cool. Now, um, once it goes up, how yep. does it come back down? Question mostly asked. <laughs> it comes with the parachute, which uh -huh. is in here. Right. The motor ejects the parachute at aperture, which is highest point. OK, now this is the one we'll be launching today. How far can I expect this one to go? It'll go about 100 metres because of regulation, but it'll be cool. Awesome, let's go. Let's go. Because the rocket we're launching today doesn't go beyond 121 metres, we can do it safely in the local park with permission from the Civil Aviation Safety Authority. OK, Ari, we're almost at the countdown. Sure. How are we going to get lift off? Well, we'll be using a B6 uh, motor, which mm -hmm. is a low power motor, which we can use in the park. OK. And it'll reach about 300 feet, which is very, very safe. Cool. Still 100 metres, yeah. not bad. <laughs> and to ignite this little baby in a rocket, We'll be using uh, this controller, okay. which has a safety key. Without that, it will not work, so it's very, very safe. Cool. So we should be ready to go. All right, let's get this thing underway. Sure. Five, four, three, two, one, go. It was a very successful launch. Thank you very much, Ari. That's all right. Bit of a question, though. What sure. about we bring out the big one and see how high that goes? In here? Yep. Not today. Oh. Sorry about that. It's worth Maybe a next time. That was pretty cool, though. Let's give this one, one more Not go, a problem. Then. Three, two, one. 